Okay, I've got another beautiful edition for you today, and we're going to review the Holy Bible, the King James Version of the Holy Bible. It's an enormous book, and there's a good reason for that. I'll get to that in a moment. But for the moment, just uh, just to give an idea of, of how it looks on the shelf, it's got a slightly more matte colour than... Um, so I've, I've put it next to the other matte books, such as uh, the... Bronte Sisters three novel and uh, and novels and the Le Morte d'Arthur, uh, but uh, if you compare it to Alice's in Wonder Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, the Arabian Nights, and so on, um, then this yeah it's it's kind of a nice uh, matte color, uh, doesn't shine too much um, at least the the, the leather, uh, in contrast of course with the gold. Um, uh, illumination which which shines a lot <laughs> and it looks very very nice on the shelf uh, if you're slightly embarrassed um, uh, to have a Bible on display this is not the one to have uh, it's a very very big bold uh, edition it's very very nice of course it's the King James version so uh, it's the version for language lovers uh, rather than uh, <laughs> translation accuracy, uh, but um, uh, it really is a work of art. Um, if you're if you're looking for an accurate translation, then obviously you'd go for something more like uh, the New King James Version if you really cared about the language, uh, or with the New International Version. But the King's King James Version is the version that um, most people quote even though they don't necessarily understand it um, it's just very 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 beautiful language now let's have a quick look at uh, at this cover that I've been showing you um, the, the coloring does bleed a little bit in some parts now I'm giving you a very very close close up here um, and so these are details which you wouldn't necessarily spot at first glance. Just to say that, you know, it it is ultimately a $25 copy. It's not a $250 copy. Um, or more. And for $12, $25 you really are getting some pretty amazing quality and yeah you know at some points the, the 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 color isn't as full as you might hope or as centered as you might hope for 25 bucks this is really really a stunning book now you know this is this is really how you're going to be um, seeing it most of the time and it's just a stunner it's just an absolute stunner. This, uh, the gold is very, very shiny, <laughs> very shiny, and those red accents really, really pop. It's lovely. Okay, so that's the side which I showed you already. Also very shiny. And then on the back, this is the design, so very similar to what was on the front. A little bit less embossed, but nevertheless. It's the main feature that differs from the front. So let me get some, there we go. Focus right on that. Lovely. Now that's just the outside. Let me show you the inside. The inside is, of course, the King James Version of uh, the Bible. Very nice uh, inside cover. This doesn't appear in any of the other uh, Barnes & Noble's books that I've got, uh, Barnes & Noble's leather-bound editions that I've got. This uh, dedication front page, so it makes a very nice gift. This isn't going to be given to anyone. This stays on my shelf very much. There you go. Yeah, 
so it, it is designed so that it can be given as a as a precious gift it's a very beautiful beautiful gift now this is the particular detail that interests me more than anything here illustrated by Gustave Doré now in most versions of the Bible where uh, you get Gustave Doré's illustrations uh, you have you know a lot of illustrations but here you have all the illustrations Nice introduction. It's a classic um, two column um, display, but you can see that the, the lettering is very, very clear. It's not just a, a scan like um, like the Shakespeare, the complete Shakespeare was. This is um, you can have a look at my other video about uh, the complete Shakespeare, which is also a very beautiful edition. But um, uh, but the the fonts are uh, uh, nowhere near as clear as this on the Shakespeare. This is very very clear, easy to read, really really beautiful. And those um, those. Uh, he head letters are beautiful. Now here is here's what I'm talking about. These uh, illustrations by Gustave Doré with um, just how intricate they are, how carefully detailed those etchings are. I'm always fascinated by by his works. Um, his uh, his illustrations also appear on um, the Barnes and Noble's leather bound edition of um, the Divine Comedy. Mm, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. No, I've got a I've got another edition of uh, La Fontaine's Fables, which are also illustrated by him, um, but not by Barnes and Noble. Get a little bit of a close up on these uh, on these leaves and and it's all with little these little lines these little black and white illustrations is absolutely beautiful and and the density of them I mean they they're just one after the other um, it's it's throughout this entire Bible obviously some of the books are are more um, thoroughly illustrated than others. Uh, so the, the 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 better known um, the better known books are are very very um, densely illustrated, uh, whereas some of the the the, the, the less uh, let's go with famous <laughs> books um, are, are have slightly fewer illustrations, but there are illustrations throughout the entire work. And it's just beautiful. As you see. So if I do a quick flick, uh, you'll be able to see that, first of all, you'll be able to see that on the, the, the side is, is uh, it's gold on the edge of the pages. Um, I'll be able to show you how densely illustrated it is. It's so yes, the Book of Kings. There we saw at least four pages without an illustration. <laughs> it's just uh, yeah, there's plenty, 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 plenty. And so on. So yeah, just an absolutely beautiful book. And uh, these these header letters every time. It's a lovely, lovely edition. The the bookmark is um, is kind of a it's kind of a creamy gold, um, I guess on uh, 
just to give you a an idea there it's it's not it's not very yellow okay it's uh it's more of a creamy gold yeah what else can i show you um hmm. it's interesting the um you can hear the the pages coming unstuck there it sounds like i haven't opened this but i i actually it's the first thing that i do whenever i receive one of these books is to actually flick all the way through so uh those pages have clearly um fused back together i uh the pages are actually reasonably thick they're they're very nice um well, they're the same thickness as, as all the other Barnes & Noble's uh, books. I'm used to having Bibles with very, very thin pages, almost see-through pages. But this is a very, very nice quality of, of paper. Uh, and, yeah, the, um, they, they seem to have got s stuck back together again uh, since, since last time I... I flicked through. I I don't know um, if that's something to expect um, for very long. I don't know how how often they will stick back together again. Yeah, so I could actually stay here all day. Um, <laughs> uh, so that's uh, that's the Barnes & Noble Leatherbound uh, Classics Edition of the Holy Bible, Old and New Testaments. And let's see how this finishes with a lovely picture of, again, Gustave Doré's image of the New Jerusalem. And, and the back page. And there it is, the end. Uh, so that really is a beautiful, beautiful edition, uh, which again looks fantastic on the shelf. Not necessarily a reference edition, unless you're looking for the specifically the King James um, uh, translation. But uh, but a beautiful work of of art. Um, uh, both linguistic, well, linguistically, um, in, in terms of the illustrations and and also in terms of the binding, uh, Barnes and Nobles have yet again, yet again done done a fantastic job, and we're very grateful. That's it for the Holy Bible. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, see you soon. Bye.